गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड चैप्टर टू हिस्ट्री एंड इवोल्यूशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी 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 इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर नाउ इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू नो द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द कंप्यूटर्स प्रेजेंट वी आर यूजिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स स्मार्टफोन्स डिफरेंट थिंग्स राइट बट has this thing straight away come from the heaven and landed in our house in our offices in our hands yes or no no it is uh, took centuries for this thing to come into existence and so many people are involved in the development of uh, this type of mechanism so in this chapter step by step you will come to know from where had it started and where have it landed up so we will study this chapter and to make the chapter interesting and understandable i have added so many images and in the link i have put some video also so that you can understand the concept clearly instead of simply reading from the textbook so we begin the journey of evolution of computer begins from here abacus is the earliest known device which was used for calculation this is the image of an ancient abacus abacus is used to perform mathematical calculations In 1642 Blaise Pascal developed the first basic calculator which would do only limited jobs Now we will have a look at some of the images of the first basic calculator which Blaise Pascal had developed After 48 years in 1690 Leibniz developed a machine that can perform addition subtraction multiplication division and calculate the square roots also also However in all machines the instructions were hard coded into the machine and could not be changed once written now what is the meaning of this statement right now in a calculator suppose you do a calculation then to clear the screen you press ac button or c button now here there was no c button or no ac button everything was hard core it used to use mechanical energy manually you had to do the work there were no battery no solar energy nothing everything was hard core lebinis was one of the great thinkers of the 17th century and is known as the last universal genius these are the images of the calculator which libines had developed charles babbage you all are uh, very much familiar with this name am i right whenever i teach the students charles babbage as soon as i speak who is charles babbage when i ask this question the children at once answer me sir he is known as father of modern days computer yes correct i say because all the teachers or whatever they have made them mug up the thing that charles babbage is known as the father of modern days computer very good but actually if i say that charles babbage had never seen a computer he was so much unlucky that throughout his life he had never seen a computer 
uh, then uh, the question which will arise in your mind is then sir why charles babbage is known as the father of modern days computer so today you will get the answer to that uh, question also see actually in uh, 1822 he had designed a uh, thing called difference engine now in 1822 there was no electricity so whatever he had designed was everything manual while today's computer works on electricity right then after 11 years charles babbage designed or uh, changed the design of difference engine and made another en- thing called analytical engine now the analytical engines uh, this thing mechanism provides the base to the technology of modern day computer and that is why he is known as the father of modern day computer now today you all have to watch a video small documentary video i have kept the link in the description of this video please click on that link and watch the video in that documentary video the working of the analytical engine is also shown and when you will watch that video the respect for this person charles babbage will increase in your mind so hope you what the video and uh, got to learn uh, so many new things that in the time when there was no electricity also this person had designed such a wonderful machine right okay now this analytical engine had an arithmetic unit to perform calculations and mechanism to store the instructions and results just amazing thing that without no memory no electricity there was mechanism to store the instructions and results right then the technology of analytical engine provides the base to the technology of modern days computer and that is why charles babbage is known as the father of modern days computer during late 1940s john von neumann found a way to encode instructions in language he was the force behind the development of stored program concept i hope you understood nothing from what i read from here so i'll explain you now in 1940s electricity was already invented so the device which he has produced we will see the photographs of the device which he had developed invented that was not working on mechanical energy but it was working on electric power supply now as i read just now that he was the he found uh, the way to encode instructions in language now what is language you will learn later on but in simple words if i say then computer cannot understand english hindi gujarati any of the language it understands only one language that is binary language zeros and ones so this person was the force behind the development of language another thing he developed was the stored program concept that means that you can develop a program and install it in the computer you don't have to write the instructions again and again we are all aware of this stored program po- concept whether in our mobile phone or in our pc whatever program we want to use we install it and then any number of times we can use it so that is known as stored program concept now finally in 1946 the first computer of the world was invented in 1946 persper eckert and john mauchly 
invented giant ENIAC. Here we can see the photographs of both the great person. Now we will see the images of giant ENIAC. ENIAC machine was developed at University of Pennsylvania. The full form of ENIAC is Electrical Numerical Integrator and Calculator. It was the first machine to use a num large number of vacuum tubes. Inyak was very big in its size. The machine required a lot of space and energy to keep it cool. Why was it uh, to be kept cool? Because it used vacuum tubes to process the data and to do some other work and do some calculations. It used vacuum tubes and you know that uh, a bulb when it is on you cannot touch it it is producing that much heat now suppose if 10,000 bulbs are on in one single room then how much heat it will produce so same was the case here these are some other images of INIAC this computer was so big that it was spread across so many rooms. It was the first machine to use vacuum tubes. Nowadays, we use pen drives for input and output of data from the computer and also for storing that data in the pen drive. Now, the typical storage capacity of a pen drive varies from 1 GB up till 64 GB. That means it is capable of storing large amount of data. Now, before pen drives, DVDs and CDs were used. The storage capacity of a DVD is 4.7 GB and the storage capacity of a CD is 650 to 700 MB. Now before CDs and DVDs the things which was used for input and output of data was floppy disk the storage capacity of a floppy disk was only 1.44 MB which is a very surprising figure for you that that much less data was able to store. Yeah, that is a fact. And before this thing, the thing which was used for input and output of data and uh, storing of data was punch card. Now, punch card, the material from which it is made is like a, a postcard. And to store the data on it, physical holes were made. And you cannot change the data. Once any data is entered in the punch card, it makes physical holes. So you cannot remove those holes. And the storage capacity of a punch card was also very much less. In ENIAC, the instructions had to be fed into the machine by way of switches because there was no internal memory. So, we end up this video over here. Chapter number 2, part 1. Hope you may have enjoyed watching the video and uh, may be able to learn the thing properly because I have tried to explain you with the help of images and video instead of simply reading the content from the textbook. 
सो थैंक यू गुड बाय वी मीट इन दी नेक्स्ट वीडियो